Appalachian Wireless offers forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or take it to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99 with 50 gigs of high-speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Pikeville Fire Department held its annual flashover training session for new recruits Wednesday. Before the training took place, Mountaintop spoke with Public Information Officer Nick Fleming about the importance of knowing when a flashover will occur. Okay, so today we're going to be going over our flashover training. Uh, this is a required class for all new firefighters to attend. It consists of four hours of classroom, PowerPoint, um, and then four hours of the actual live burn, which is the trailer behind me here. This is just where we have an elevated structure. We build a fire uh, in a box, basically, and the students can observe the, the flashover occurring. We talk about kind of the signs of a flashover. That way, if the firefighters are uh, in that situation in real life, they can kind of see it before it happens. According to the United States Fire Administration, a flashover is a thermally driven event during which every combustible surface exposed to thermal radiation in a compartment or enclosed space rapidly and simultaneously ignites. Instructor Robert Lindsay reveals how the operation works. Uh, we have firefighters and instructors inside the facility. It is a two-stage or two-level facility. Um, the front section is the high temperature area where the fire is actually at. The smoke and the unburnt fuels will build up. They get to a the proper ignition temperature and point that will auto-ignite and fill the trailer with a flame that goes starting from the ceiling down toward the floor area. The process for the interior crew or the candidates is they're staggered along the walls. And each time we have a flashover, we will do a rotation. The one in front will rotate back to the back. Uh, we do that hopefully, uh, right now we have six uh, candidates in there. We'll hopefully go through three rotations and bring them out and reset the process. Afterward, we spoke with EKU fire investigator student, Mary Cottle and recruit Cole Tackett about the experience. Well, in my career, I have to know fire behavior too like the events leading up to flashover. So doing this really, um, I got to experience flashover. So for my career, it will help me better understand the events leading up to it and the signs of it and know the fire behavior of it. It's one thing learning in the classroom. It's a, a lot better experience learning it in the trailer. So that way you can visibly see and feel and hear. Uh, use all your senses to tell when it's gonna flash over. It's, thick black smoke, it's really hot, and uh, you can't see nothing. So th those are the signs of a flashover. You can also learn the science behind it in the classroom. And so I definitely have a better understanding, and hopefully this uh, could save my life, maybe my fellow firefighters' lives one day, and uh, you know, just get the situation under control before it happens. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.